Howdy guys! Alright, so in this section what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating gameplay areas. Now, I like to call these gameplay areas because this is basically where a lot of the action of the game you know, happens. And you know, a lot of times in uh, levels, when you're creating levels for games, you want to have control over these certain areas and you know, place certain types of buildings, or maybe there's paths, or you want different types of foliage, let's say for like a meadow versus a big forest. So what we want to do is we want to build in some sort of functionality so we can control certain areas of our level, our terrain. Okay, so let's take a quick second and just do a review of the core concepts that we are going to cover throughout this whole section. So first and foremost, we need to create another HDA that allows us to build an area. All right, so we're gonna actually create a procedural area building tool for something like level designers to lay out inside of Unity. And then we're gonna learn how to use multi-parms with the Houdini engine. Now the multi-parms allow us to basically create a list of HDAs that we want to assign to our top network. All right, so we want to have as many areas as we want, and we want to bring all those areas into our top network, and we want to then process all the, those areas into their specific type of area. Okay, so we're going to use multi-parms to do that. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take in all those areas, and we're going to clear out the foliage just to kind of drive the point home. All right, so we're going to make it so that we don't scatter any foliage in these specific areas that we draw out. Uh, and then we're also going to flatten the terrain in those areas. So in this case, I'm just keeping it basic. You don't necessarily have to flatten the terrain, but it, it'll also help just reinforce the whole concept of being able to control certain areas of your levels with tops. Okay, and then finally what we're going to do is we're going to scatter new foliage in those particular placed areas. So in this case, what I'm going to do is kind of make it a more of a meadowy area. All right, and we're going to try to control the fall off between the forest and the meadow. Okay, so with that, let's jump back into Houdini and get our area HDA created. 